You're keeping me on. Yeah, I'm strapped. Good morning, everyone. So for today's video, I am super excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the new Disney collection with Laura. They actually sent this to me. Not gonna lie, I stuck it back in the bag because I had to show you guys how cute it was when it came. Thank you, Laura, for making me feel special. But yeah, they sent this to me. And so, yeah, let's just go ahead and get inside this bag because I know that's basically, well, that is why you guys are here. La, 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 la. <laughs> share with you guys is this guy here and this is the eyeshadow palette from Beauty and the Beast. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay so it looks like a book. This is mind you the first time I'm actually seeing all the products. I looked at the boxes yes but I didn't open them up. So I guess we'll open them up together. Oh I'm losing some stuff. These are what the colors look like and it has a mirror which is nice. So I will also do close-ups and swatches for you guys but first of all let's go ahead and just throw on some makeup because I don't have any makeup on my face. The only thing I have on my skin right now is foundation and I filled in my eyebrows so I wanted to play around with this. So let's go ahead and get close up. Okay so I am just kind of randomly making a look because I'm not really sure what I'm going for. But I'm gonna take Dream It, which is on the top left hand side. Ooh. I'm gonna put this on my lid. Is this for Frozen? Cause I think I just got frosty. <laughs> okay, next I think I'm going to take a bit of Look Beyond. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of Inner Beauty and just kind of wash it over Look Beyond. Because I'm trying to use as many colors on my eyes as possible, because I want to be able to show you how some of these work actually on my eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of TikTok and just kind of deepen up my crease a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of Our Guest. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna pop this on the center of my lid and just see what happens. Next, I'm gonna take Romance because this is just standing out to me and I have to use it because it looks like such a pretty color. And I'm gonna kind of put it on the outer V but kind of try and keep it mostly in the crease. Okay, and then I'm going to take Swept Up and just kind of darken up my lash line on the top. Finally, I'm gonna take a little bit of Empress and put it underneath my outer lash line. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and apply some mascara, maybe some lashes and some eyeliner and I will be right back with the finish. <laughs> This is why I don't do a lot of makeup tutorials, it's because <laughs> I somehow always mess it up. Okay, so here is the finished eyeshadow look without that mark and with lashes and mascara. Do I look like Belle yet? <laughs> Half Asian Belle? No? Okay. Next, I'm going to move on to the cheek palette. Again, I haven't looked at what this looks like, but of course, the packaging is amazing. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. These look amazing. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I don't even know which one I wanna use. I guess I'll go ahead and use C Beyond right here, kind of towards the back of my cheek. Again, I'm gonna try and squeeze on as many of these on my face as I possibly can. Ooh, that's pigmented. I just dug my brush into that. That is really pretty. It's such a nice, like, terracotta-y, rosy color. And then, on the front of my cheek, front of my cheek, <laughs> sounds weird, I'm gonna put a little bit of Enchanted on the apple of my cheek again, like I said, so I can squeeze on as many of these colors as I possibly can. 
I'm gonna have so much makeup on my face. <laughs> And then, last but not least, I'm going to use this highlighter called Fearless. I'm assuming that's a highlighter here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's Olaf? I swear this is frozen. <laughs> Look at that frost. That is super pretty. Put a little bit on my nose. Okay, so I'm not going to test the last one because I think that would just be a little bit too much on my face right now. I will again swatch these for you guys so you guys can see what these look like. my bag of goodies we have left over the lip kits or the lip sets so I'm gonna go ahead and try I guess the lipsticks on first I'm gonna swatch all of these so this will be a pretty massive swatching video for you guys and yeah oh man these are pretty so while I'm showing you guys these swatches of the lipsticks I thought I would go ahead and talk to you guys about my thoughts so first and foremost, I think these are very reasonably priced. These are about $7 a piece, so that is a pretty good deal. Now as far as the formulas of these go, I love how smooth and comfortable these are. These go on really nicely and I also appreciate the colors in this kit. Now I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I get lipstick kits, I find that there are always one or two shades that I don't really care for. However, in this kit, I feel like all of the shades are very pretty and work well with my skin tone. And I think in general, all of these colors would work really well with a lot of different skin tones. Now, as far as the scent goes, these do have a light vanilla scent to them, which I personally find pleasant, so I actually like that they have that scent. Now, this color right here, True Beauty, is the only one that's slightly different. This one has a slight shimmer slash frost to the finish. The other ones have a creamy soft finish, but still, I'm not a big fan of frost, but I, I personally like this one too. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this guy here, and this is the lip gloss collection, so. Now, as far as the lip gloss kit goes, I find that these are also very fairly priced. These are about $7 a tube, which again, for the packaging, the formula, the look of these, I feel like that's very reasonable. Now, you'll notice that the names of the lip glosses are actually the same names as the lipsticks, and that's because these are corresponding colors to the lipsticks. So each of these will layer nicely on top of the lipsticks, but these are also really nice lip glosses on their own. So if you're more of a lip gloss person, it's nice that they offer you this option. Now, these do have a slight sticky and tackiness to them. It's nothing unbearable, but if you just can't stand that, Keep that in mind. These also have a light scent to them as well. Again, nothing too unbearable, but they do have a scent. And just like the lipsticks, the only lip gloss that has a different finish to it is True Beauty. And again, this one is going to have a slight frosty, shimmery kind of look to it. Again, it's nothing too crazy. It still looks pretty neutral and natural, but just keep that in mind. Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this collection haul, review, try on, first impressions of the Beauty and the Beast collection from Lorac. I will leave links down in the description box below of where you can pick these products up in case you're curious. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to read, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!